Hello folks, I'm sure that after all of the drive unit marathon hacking session videos that we've seen you're all looking for something a little bit more bite sized so that's what we're going to try to give you today. Um, Matt and I have been working away on the uh, Model 3 charge port stuff, well mostly Matt, I just test things. and. Uh, Pleased to say that we have got success here, uh, both with with his e uh, with his US uh, charge port ECUs and my EU CCS version. So, uh, test setup is exactly as we saw in the last video, um, except this time now I actually have the correct plug for the car side of the ECU which is uh, this guy here, so I now have the plug that fits that, so yay me. Also got a second um, ECU, uh, one of them is actually from a UK car, so a, U a UK um, CCS equipped vehicle. Uh, what else? Not much else, just got an STM32 F4 with Matt's code on it laptop here with a little serial terminal. Uh, here I have just a random granny cable. Uh, this is just a type two uh, single phase um, charging plug. And in the corner here, just to show that we have power flow through the whole thing, just got a little 100 watt filament lamp in there connected uh, just to the AC output uh, from our uh, charge port. Just going to put this leather glove over it because when it turns on, if I didn't, it would just wash out the camera. So, um, as we like to say in these situations, open the charge port door, please, Elon. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Of course I did. So let's try that again. <laughs> Could only happen on camera. Open the charge port door, please, Elon. And you'll notice straight away here that we have a white T. If I plug in my uh, charging cable, we go to a blue T and the latch engages. And if we press C, we get a green pulsing T, a happy Elon. And obviously you can see here uh, that my my uh, filament lamp has come on, just in case you can't. There it is and all of its blazing glory. And we can turn the charge off, turn the charge on, turn off. Uh, and it'll basically sit there charging away merrily. Now I do have a Tesla wall connector which would let us do the little button push on the handle thing but unfortunately the cable won't quite reach into the shed here so we'll have, we'll have to wait for the next episode when I can drag this whole movable feast out uh, onto the driveway. Uh, so if we stop charging there and just release our latch uh, can close the door. Now what is working I think at the minute is the push door open. So if we um, if we press the door, does that work? Don't think so. Either that or my door doesn't like me very much. No, I don't think my door press opens, but uh, normal door should open. Yes. Normal door open, open. And just one more time. Blue tea and green pulsing tea. There we have it, folks. I will keep, as I say, this video a bit shorter. Uh, just a quick update to show you that we have indeed made uh, some pretty good progress. And Matt is working away on the DC fast charging elements 
of this. Um, simulating CCS is not going to be, you know, something that we're going to be able to do here. So I'll be moving on to putting this charge port into a vehicle in the new year, and we just go drive it to a, a CCS fast charger and start figuring out some more CAN messages. So that's it. Uh, I will leave you there. As always, uh, don't forget to dislike, unshare, do not subscribe to this stupid channel. Uh, do check the links in the description, but whatever you do, don't visit them and don't support me or visit the Open Inver Inverter Forum where you can see more of this Tesla hacking stuff. Don't do that. And uh, until next time, happy green pulsing tea.